August 1991. Girlfriends! It's me, David Somebody. Thanks for dropping by. Sorry the place is such a mess, but we just had a priest come through here to perform an exorcism. It seems my lover, John Campbell, not his real name, picked up a demon somewhere. I don't know where, because we've hardly been going out lately. I wasn't worried at first. I mean, having your lover's head spin around 360 degrees does wonders for your sex life. And the priest was gorgeous. He tied John Campbell, not his real name, down to the bed. My mind was racing wildly, but then he just did this little thing with a perfume bottle and some smoke, and presto, the demon left. We're not even Catholic, but Father Lance, that's that priestly stud's name. Anyways, Father Lance said, as long as that demon was Catholic, God damn it was fun. Speaking of unearthly temptations, I was in Divine Decadence, that clothing store on White Avenue yesterday, and they had PVC pants. It stands for polyvinyl something or other, but it fits like rubber. A little butch for me, but I thought they'd be perfect for John Campbell, not his real name. $129.99 plus GST. Buy them, my gorgeous friend Annie said, but I just said, girlfriend. She's the only woman I ever call girlfriend. I said, remember our pact. No more clubware for me, no more cheesecake for you. Her head dropped as she went to help a skinhead find a cardigan. Not that I read the newspapers, but all this bullshit about gays having a brain abnormality. What a crock. Even if they find that gay men have a smaller hypothalamus than straight men, so what? Like everything else, there's probably some who got big ones and some who got small ones. Trust me on this one. I'm a doctor. Now take off your clothes. Just kidding. If a smaller hypothalamus indicates a gay man, I wonder how physiologists can spot a lesbian. Don't forget lesbians aren't born with sensible shoes and lumberjack shirts. They get them transplanted on later. Don't get me wrong, I love lesbians. Especially sautéed and served with hollandaise sauce. John Campbell, not his real name, used to be a bit of a separatist as regards lesbians, but I told him, at least they're not stealing our men. Let me end with a McDonald's story. Last Wednesday, me and John Campbell Nunderson, real name, were at the Strathcona McDonald's eating Big Macs when this gorgeous blonde guy, short beard, basket for days, walked past. We both stopped chewing, looked up, and these two guys with tank tops at the next table said, yeah, he is cute. Honest to God, there it was, four gays all making Google eyes with this hunk in the middle of McDonald's in the middle of the week, in the middle of Strathcona. It was so reassuring. Looks like Strathcona truly is becoming Edmonton's artistic community. You know, people in the theater, shy around women, of a sensitive temperament. Call it what you want, girl. I still call it gay. Oh, and Hunter, congratulations. Lucky girl, both of you. Until next week, girlfriends, I'm David Somebody, and we must be related, because remember, you're somebody too.